Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mets Media. This is Richie, and I want to break you guys some New York Mets news and go over their brand new general manager, Jared Porter. I'm going to break down his whole storyline and my thoughts on him and how he can come in here and if he's going to fit the system that this New York Mets team wants to do under new ownership with Steve Cohen, Sandy Alderson as the president. And yeah, we got a lot to get into. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'll be posting all the latest news about the New York Mets. And I got a lot of content all throughout the offseason about the Mets and then carrying over into the season. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. With that being said, let's get into my thoughts and breakdown of the new Mets general manager, Jared Porter. So he started off at Boston. He was an interim over there back in like 2004, and he worked up his ranks in the in the front office. He was a player development guy. He was a scout, and he won two World Series rings. Obviously, he wasn't the reason that won the World Series rings, but that's important because he was around a very well-run organization and understood what it's like to build a World Series roster. He was part of the whole process of getting two championships, and that's what you want. And then what does he do? He goes to Chicago. He's part of the player development scouting team over there, and they win another World Series. So he has a total of three World Series rings that he was a part of. So that's really important because he has championship pedigree, and he's a guy that knows what it takes to win. He was part of it. This guy has been looked at as the next upcoming GM for the next for the past couple of years. He is very well respected all across the MLB. He was looked at as a couple years ago. A lot of people wanted him to be their GM, but no one really had an opening, a vacancy, and everyone felt like whenever there's a GM open spot, Jared Porter will be the guy that's going to get hired, and the Mets will make sure that he was there. He's a young guy, 40 years old, and he is coming from Arizona. He was an assistant GM over there, so he has a lot of experience. And this guy is very well respected. I feel like he's going to have a really good chemistry with Sandy Alderson and Steve Cohen. I feel like they all have the same type of philosophy in terms of building a young core through the farm system, especially because he is his expertise is scouting and player development, and that's what we kind of need. We need to really build up this farm system because obviously we want to win now. We want to win this year next year and the year after, but we want to build a foundation for the future as well. And that's really good because Jared Porter is a guy that can boost up the farm. And the Mets have always been known to not have a good farm system because we always trade our players for, you know, we trade our minor leaguers for players that never really work out. Robinson Cano, Edwin Diaz. I like Edwin Diaz now. I think he has a lot to prove and I like him, but I'm not a fan of that trade still. I, I wish we still had Jared Kalenic on the squad. That's a trade that I don't think this front office will make again. That's a Brody Van Wagenen trade. There's the difference between Brody and Jared Porter. I feel like Brody is a guy that was very short-term thinking. He always wanted to make the big splashy signing, the make the big splashy, not even signing, make the big splashy trade in order to win right now, sacrifice the future to win today. I think Jared Porter is going to bring a really good balance of building a future for this team and also going out there. And luckily we have Steve Cohen's budget to be able to afford big ticket guys in free agency. So I think the balance between Jared Porter being a really good scout, Sandy Alderson is very good at scouting. I mean, our young core that we have right now, you got to give Sandy Alderson credit. He was the GM. We drafted Michael Conforto under him, Pete Alonzo, McNeil, uh, Nimmo, I'm pretty sure all those guys were drafted under Sandy and then we built them through the farm system. So that's what we need to do. We need to bring in a guy like Porter who has a similar mindset as Sandy and obviously Steve Cohen. So that's really my little breakdown on him. I'm very excited that we finally got a new GM because I wanted Brody gone. And I'm really happy he's not here anymore because Brody was driving me insane. He sold us all in his press conference and he seemed like he's going to win us a World Series and we all fell in love with him right away. And then that trade happened. And we all know Brody Van Wagenen's history as a New York Mets general manager. So there's a lot of news coming around uh, New York Mets land. I broke down my thoughts on James McCann becoming the new New York Mets catcher. So make sure you check out that video if you have not already. And again, make sure you subscribe for more Mets content. That does it for this video. Please leave a comment down below your thoughts of the new GM and any questions you have for me or any content you want to see on this channel. I'm really excited to launch this New York Mets channel because the Mets are on the rise and I'm so excited to be part of the Mets community. Let's go Mets. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.